Hi and welcome to day three, my favourite, the Singing Sea series. I'm more proud of this bunch of exercises than any gig I've ever done, any practice I've ever done, any articles I've ever written. The process of the Singing Sea series is based on taking the concepts that you've learned in the first two days. And let me ask you, how did you go with them? Are you conflicted? Are you confused? Are you challenged? Or are you aware of the sensation of the freedom of playing and the simplicity of humming? And remember the mantra? I want the lips to interact with the air as if they're the vocal cords. So the sensation is really important. We've covered that. What are the three big problems? Squeezing the lips together. We've worked on that with sympathetic oscillation. How did you go with it? Don't panic if you can't do it yet. It's something that you just keep going back and working on. Work on it, work on it, and put a line through your practice day and then get on with your normal practice. So it's really important. So the process-driven exercises and then results-driven, you just forget and you play, think about the sound. The results exercises are coming next. But the process-driven, including the Singing Sea series, okay, I'm proud of it, uh, will get that metronome, uh, the uh, metronome, the magnifying glass, the magnifying glass out, finally got it, and look deeply inside. You know what we're looking out for. Negative tension, any grabbing of the abdominals, any kicking, forcing of the air, anything below the neck. We play the low C with the feeling of humming and singing, Passive reduction, no activity, just good breath and release. And then as we go through the tonguing and go through the the harmonic slurs, you will be the strain detective. You'll be looking for any of that negative uh, manipulation that might uh, instinctively creep into your playing. If you're doing it in this range, what do you think you're going to do in the higher range? And this is where... All problems stem from. I teach a lot of people, especially pro players, 80 bucks for a lesson. And this is not a plug for a lesson. It is quite often we might spend one, two, three lessons purely working on what you've covered in day one and two. Getting the feeling, the idea, the understanding, sympathetic oscillation, body resonance, purity of sound, purity of flow, release without kicking. If you don't have it all down now, that's okay. Work on it. But just recognise it again, we're looking, as I said right at the intro videos, helping you detect negative tension and working to eliminate it. So don't rush through the Singing Sea series. It's not high. It's not about the range. It's about the process you take in recognising the body's reaction to the concept of playing higher, whether it be slurred or tongued. So take your time. Enjoy it. Go, oh, wow, check that out. Forget the range. Sure, it goes to a G. Nail this. Upper register, no problem. As we work through foundation, premium level, ultimate level, you will be able to detect where the nonsense starts. If you just think, oh, I can play those notes, I can do the exercise, and disregard what the body's doing, you're wasting your time and my God, not most of my time, this is already recorded. <laughs> so enjoy playing through very mindfully the Singing C series. Enjoy the low C. I am such a big fan of this because it is the result of years and years and years practice and research. So don't disregard the importance of it. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day four. Thank you.